Hello, I'm the Nerdy Chaplain, and this is Chaplain Explains Disinterested Benevolence, or Congregational Theology and Spirituality. <clears throat> Disinterested Benevolence is the core concept of the New Divinity Movement, as also known as New England Theology, or Edwardsianism. It started with Jonathan Edwards, but the term was coined later on by his uh, student, friend, and theological partner, Samuel Hopkins. Now, together with Joseph Bellamy, they led the New Divinity Movement between the two uh, Great Awakenings, which would be late um, 18th, early 19th century. The concept of disinterested benevolence, put simply, is to be motivated to do acts of divine love or agape, because it is the right thing to do. The motivation or intention behind the act is key. So say you do something good for someone, but you are motivated by the hope of uh, some kind of reward, be it prestige or money or recognition that you're a good person. Uh, it is not truly an act of agape then. The goal is to reorient your motivation. The perfect act of agape would be an act of some kind of benevolence, and the recipient would never know that it was you. By the, by the time of the Second Great Awakening, this congregational theology had taken root in the form of benevolent societies, and these were interdenominational, uh, mostly with Presbyterians, who are essentially more organized Congregationalists, and also Evangelical Episcopalians and, and others. Uh, this theology is manifested today, though generally it's not so explicitly by this term, disinterested benevolence. Um, <clears throat> and it's, it's manifested today by, by the heavy focus on community service that is one of the hallmarks of a congregational church. How is this theology also considered spirituality for congregationalism? Now here I'm switching from the history to just my opinion. By its nature, congregationalism is, dif is difficult to speak of in the present as opposed to what is known history because each individual church is different and has the autonomy to believe as it sees fit. There are no bishops dictating to us what is orthodoxy. And generally, we all believe the same thing, it's just we don't want someone coming in to tell us to believe that. So my position that disinterested benevolence is not, only, is, is not just congregational theology, but also congregational spirituality is because of Jesus' lesson in Matthew chapter 25, verses 31 to 46, especially verse 40. Jesus' lesson is about doing acts of benevolence, feeding the hungry, offering drink to the thirsty, clothing the naked, caring for the sick, welcoming the stranger, and visiting the imprisoned. Then, verse 40 is, Truly I tell you, just as you did it to one of, one of the least of these who are members of my family, you did it to me. Now, spirituality is defined as a subjective experience of a sacred dimension and the deepest values and meanings by which a person lives. So, the motivation for performing acts of agape represents our deepest values. And the act itself is for Jesus, therefore experiencing the sacred dimension. So, for me, practicing disinterested benevolence is also a spiritual practice, at least in my opinion. Thank you for watching this Chaplain Explains video, and I hope you enjoyed.